Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike. I'm a behavioral designer over at Vimy. Thank you for joining us again for Cognitive Clicks. This week, by popular demand, we'll be talking about memory. So memory is very, very central to cognition, and as such, there are many theories in psychology about memory. One of the earliest theories about memory is our topic for today, because it's still relevant. Uh, we're talking about the serial position effect theory, which was first proposed by a German psychologist called Hermann Ebbinghaus. Ebbinghaus was born in 1850 and passed away in 1909. So his ideas are nearly 150 years old, but I'm sure you're familiar with at least one of them, which is the learning curve. Yes, Hermann Ebbinghaus is the person who came up with the idea of a learning curve. Ebbinghaus was absolutely fascinated with how memory happens and how forgetting happens. One of the things that he was very interested in is how we remember lists of occurrences or lists of items, any kind of lists really. Uh, the type of research that Hebbinghaus did on himself amongst others was he invented lists of nonsense words uh, in order not to have any association with them. Then he memorized them, then he came back to them after a few days to check which he remembered and he was very interested in which positions in his list he found it easiest to remember. And this is how he came up with his serial position effect theory for memory. And what the serial position effect theory for memory says in a nutshell is really very simple. When you are in a series of events or memory, rem remembering a series of items, the ones that have an advantage are the first one, primacy effect, and the last one, recency effect, which means that your memory basically works in a U shape. Everything in the middle tends to get a little bit cloudy. How does this apply, for example, to business situations? Very easy. When you're going to a networking event, you will find that it's easiest for you to remember the first person you meet. And if you don't drink too much, because then your memory is just going in a J, uh, it'll be easier for you to remember the last person that you meet, which means that you should put extra effort in trying to remember details about everybody in the middle. It also means, for example, that when you're in a pitching position, uh, you should strive to be the first person to pitch because the audience is likelier to remember you. I would say you should also be in the last position, but I have a feeling that being last is always not a very good place to be because people are already tired. So primacy effect plays to your advantage in pitching when you're first because people are find it easier to remember the first thing in a list. It's interesting to understand why this happens. Uh, the uh, uh, later research in, in memory talks about the contextual distinctiveness of the first position and the last position. By contextual distinctiveness, we talk about the idea that this first memory and this last memory were an interruption of a series of occurrences and experiences that happened before and after. And because of their interrupting nature, they have a special place. They are easier to remember than everything that happens in the middle. So that kind of summarizes our chat for today about serial position effect and Hermann Ebbinghaus. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, please share, and I will be back here again with another Cognitive Clicks video next week. See you. Thank you very much.